I think Greece is one of the safest places to be in the world. And so you know, I was really fascinated by it. They've just done, I think, an extraordinary job. I mean, some of it is being outdoors and it being sunny, but, but I really believe that the government's done a fantastic job at managing it. And we see that now because of the very quick response to a, a lockdown and the responsiveness of uh, Greek people to abide by those rules. And so I'm just, I'm just impressed and I actually feel safe here and the weather's great and it's warm and it's sunny. Maybe not quite as much today, but uh, it's a great place to be. So thank you. Wonderful. Thank you for choosing Greece. Then before we close, uh, any thoughts, comments about your upcoming uh, contribution and talk to our uh, summit on November 23 and 24? Like maybe a preview of what you will be talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Disrupting the disruptor? <laughs> um, you know, I think, I think there's probably two thoughts I have. I have one. I have one really around, you know, the challenge that I'm sure all of us are going through right now with business. And the challenge I think we face is how long will this new environment be present? In other words, is it long enough that I just need to think to do my business completely differently? Or do I just need to think to do it differently for a little while? And, um, you know, I think it's clear now that this state that we're in is going to last a while. Um, I mean, even if a vaccine is imminent and, and we get it, say, let's say June of next year, it's still not completely clear that the coronavirus hasn't fractured in the way that the coronaviruses have fractured with the common cold about at least six of them are coronaviruses and so we get these different strains and so we've had some people now in the world that were very confident that they have gotten the coronavirus twice and it's it's because they've gotten sort of a different strain of it and so if that's true it means that even though we will have produced a vaccine for one of the coronaviruses, there may be another, there may be m multiple coronaviruses. And, and that means that we'll be in this state for a long time, even with the vaccine that cures one of them. And so my belief in business is, um, I do believe in plan Bs. I believe in plan Cs and plan Ds. And so we should prepare, we should always prepare, we should hope for the best, but prepare for the worst. And the worst is that we are in this state for a long time. And so that means thinking about our business differently. It means disrupting ourselves. And the most important point about disrupting yourself is to not try to disrupt your own business. That's a very risky, dangerous thing to do. The right the right way to disrupt yourself, and this is true even Clay Christensen to his death, and he's the, he's the person who coined the term disruptive innovation, as you remember. Um, even he was adamant about this idea. And the idea was simply this, if you're a business and you wanna be doing a very different kind of business, don't try to transform your business, create a small independent business unit and do it there. And, and grow it there. If you want to do business differently, experiment with that by creating smaller independent business units and growing it there. And that is the safest and surest way. And so I think we'll, we'll talk quite a bit about why that punchline is true, because it, it may not at all be obvious and it takes a little while to understand why doing it that way is such a certain path. 